So now what we're going to do is going to do some compound exercises. Basically what this does is use major muscles. It's going to help us increase, actually, believe it or not, our uh, metabolic rate, meaning we're able to burn more calories during and after our workout. And it's actually the best functional way, time efficient way to, um, to work out. Rafael right now is in a T position. He's going to do five standard T squats. Inhale, stick out the glutes, and squat. Very good. Notice his feet are forward. Do four more. His feet are forward. He inhales when he goes down, and he exhales when he comes up. His elbows and shoulders are the same height. Inhale. Exhale, chest out. Release the tension on your shoulders. Good. Inhale. One more. Next time you go down, hold it for three seconds. I want you to feel those muscles that I want you to work. Hold it. Three, two, you feel it? One, stand tall. Now you're going to do the split squat. So you're going to take a giant step forward with your right foot. That's fine. Good. Forward the hips. Look straight. Bend the knee. Sink. Hold it. Exhale. Push off. Starting to position. Think tall. Same leg. Step. Forward the hips. Sink. Sink. Hold it for three seconds. Push off. All right. Do the opposite leg twice. Slow. Forward the hips. Sink. Inhale. Exhale. Push off. One more. Make sure when you step, it's on the heel and then on the ball of the foot, it, all your weight is on. Beautiful. Forward the hips. Sink. And step back. Stand tall. Now we can do the lateral squats. Remember, your feet are like tripods. So take a giant step with your right foot. And then on your heels, and stick out your glutes. Yep. Inhale. Stick out the glutes, feet forward. Sink. Very good. Exhale. Starting position. Think tall. Another one. Step. Weight on heel. Sink. Very good. And come back. One more. On your own. Stick out the glutes. And back up. Don't need to go any lower in that. Change sides. Inhale. Take a cleanse. You're feeling on your shoulders, huh? No weights. See, this is what I'm talking about. All right, let's do a couple more on, the, on your opposite side. So when we come to the side, we don't have to worry about sinking too low. All I want you to do is feel a stretch, fix the form. The lowest you should go is this low. Your legs should be parallel to the ground. Your knee never goes over your toes. You push off. Do the opposite side. Inhale. Weight on heel, feet forward. Beautiful. Sink, stick out your glutes. Feel the stretch, push off. Nice. Do two more. This time you're going to be able to sink more. Make sure you have good form. Sink. Back up. One more. Much better. Fix your um, shoulders. Relax the tension. Good. Take a deep breath. Stand tall. Go. Feet forward. Sink. Hold. Back up. Very good. In this position, do the reverse lunge. Remember that? Step back. On the ball of foot, sink, then come back up. Same thing, slow motion, forward the hips, that's okay. Come back up, push off. Do the same leg, go forward the hips, same leg, that's all right. It's okay, fix the hips, almost, and come back starting positions. So next time you step back, you're gonna forward the hips. Step, forward the hips, it's hard. Sink, then come back up. Do opposite leg. So right now we're finding out where, what muscle imbalances you have, as you can see, and come back up. So notice the knee is going over the toes. So the only way you can fix that is by stepping back more on the same leg. Step back more, so you're on the ball of the foot. Then bend the knee. Much better. Come back up. Knee doesn't touch the ground. Fantastic. Another exercise part of our total training program is working our glutes and our hamstrings, meaning our buttocks and our hamstrings. Um, Many of us have jobs that we sit down all day, and that being the case, we have tight hip flexor muscles, um, weak hamstrings, tight hamstrings, and tight glutes. So deadlifts is a sure way, proven way, old school way of activating these muscles. Do it with right form, you will see amazing results. All right, my friend, Rafael is gonna show us how to do dumbbell deadlifts, knee bent dumbbells deadlifts. So as always, we think tall, take one cleansing breath through the nose, exhale through the mouth. On your next inhale, Rafael is going to bend at the waist and do a, a deadlift. The weight's going to pass his knees and he's going to come back to starting position. And he's going to think tall. So notice when he's doing this, continue. 
he's doing this, he's looking straight ahead. At all times, look straight ahead. We come all the way up. He's only bending from the waist. Imagine your arms are like ropes. So there is really no tension there. You're using your lower back, which is really the stabilizer in this, but you're incorporating your hamstrings and your glutes is doing all the work. You got the glutes. Straight, nice, and come back up. Starting position. All the way up, nice. Think tall, and another one. Very good. Stick up the glutes, it's hard, I know. Don't bend the knees and come back up. You're going too far down. Last one, relax your shoulders. Good, do another one. Just go past the knees, that's all I want you to do. Then come back up. Last one, go a little bit past the knees. A little bit more, all right, come back up. That was perfect. The next step up. This is the money maker here. We're gonna inhale, same exercise. Place all on one leg and come back up. That's one. You come back up, inhale, exhale. Think tall, change legs. You inhale, and come back up. That's one. Inhale, and come back up. That's two. The step, last step up from this one will be single legs. I mean, will be one arm dumbbells. This requires serious core stabilization, but as you continue with this exercise regimen, you will be able to do this. After you master this, any other exercises that you do regarding strength training is going to be more effective and you're gonna get more out of it.